Hey, I'm Geek Pastimes and it is just gone two in the morning, but I wanted to make a video explaining what happened with the Zork puzzle on Pawn Takes Pawn, how it got solved by sort of members of my Discord and the stuff that I've done on it, and what happens at the end of it, sort of how you can actually get one of the rewards from it. So check out the video and we'll explain how to do it all. Oh, it says something else there. So as always, please do like and subscribe. It really does help us out a lot. Sorry about the lighting and stuff. Like I said, it's very, very late. So I don't have any natural lighting in here. Um, so what happened tonight was we were working on the sort of Zork puzzle of Pawn Takes Pawn. This isn't the complete puzzle of Pawn Takes Pawn. We think there's going to be more steps. And I'll talk about that, about that a little bit more at the end. But I kind of want to explain what happened with this and where we got to today and how we managed to get the kind of reward out of it. Possibly a little bit earlier than they expected us to. So what was happening with Pawn Takes Pawn for most people, if you'd watched my last video, you'll see some of this. People were getting sent postcards and that's where I'm going to pick it up from, from the postcard step. Um, so people were getting sent one of 15 postcards. They started turning up yesterday in the US. Um, then we got some today in the UK and in the US. It doesn't seem like, I don't think I've heard many people from other countries getting them so far, but we had these postcards and across the day, we ended up getting 13 out of 15 postcards. Now, a lot of the postcards showed us things that I'd already shown in the video. So it showed us bits of the Zork map and then a word or a bit of a word. Um, and one of them began with a forward slash. So we kind of figured that these would be URLs. These would be like things we'd add to porntakesporn.com. Um, and then one of them actually, the ones that we had early, also showed us the bracelet. So we knew there were some of them with these bracelets that had part of a QR code. Now, we very quickly, when we were sort of assembling them in the order of the map, the words, um, we realized that, that only nine cards would be needed to finish the map. And that ended up being right. And then the other six cards each would have a bit of the QR code and one of the items from the game. So once we knew that, it was kind of a matter of working out which ones were which. Now, we had quite a big breakthrough earlier where Arcanus, Arcanus, I don't know quite how to say his name, but he's in my Discord and he's awesome. Um, he ended up guessing, basically, one of the URLs. So we had the clue metal, and he was trying different words before metal, assuming that the word would come before it because of where metal is on the card. And he managed to stumble across precious metal. Now, this was a page and um, that was useful. The page had on it this sort of page from this book to do with Zork. It had this incantation code on it, which I'll talk about in a second. And it had a load of writing, some of which was circled in red, which ended up spelling things. Um, now, I'll talk about all of these together, but basically there ended up being six of these pages. We worked out most of them, and I didn't work these out at all. These were people in other discords, other people did them, and people tweeted them to me as they were solving them. But we ended up with Sacred Beetle. We had Beetle, and you had to put Sacred in front of it. Hallowed Bones. Sanctified. Sanctified was an easier one to guess, and we'd actually tried that URL last night, but it didn't work then. Um, so I'm guessing they activated it sometime today, because there's not that many words ended in Tified. So that one, we kind of could work that one out easily. Precious Metal, which like I said, was worked out for us. Magnificent Blue, which I've got no idea how someone guessed that because we had Magnificent. I don't know how someone figured out to put Blue on the end. I knew it, that one was one of the ones that took quite a long time. So maybe they just got to the point where they were trying random words. Um, and then the last one that we were stuck on was Quest. We didn't know what to put in front of that. Now, thankfully, someone finally managed to find the 11th card because we've had more cards showing up all day. And we got the code, the card that said try on it um, and that meant that we could get try quest so we got the last page so we had all six of these urls six of these pages that we could then look at um, and get all of the bits of information from and there's a few different bits of information so the bits with the letters circled in red to explain how those worked very very simple you just read the letters in order and they make whole sentences so those when you put them all together said construct map from printed intelligence travel as the crow flies bring six pictured treasures to trophy case and recite incantations. So these were basically instructions on how to do everything. So construct map from printed intelligence. That's easy. You put the cards together to make a map. Travel as the crow flies. So you drew lines between the rooms, like as a crow flies means in a straight line. So don't worry about the path between the rooms. Um, and then bring six pictured treasures. So the treasures that were on the cards. We knew there was going to be six of them from what I said earlier. Bring them to the trophy case, which is a thing near the start of the game in Zork, where you put all the treasures to win the game. And recite incantations. 
Then we had to work out the incantations. Now the incantations felt like they might be complicated, but someone called Brug on my uh, Discord worked this out quite quickly, how to do them. And then it was just a process of doing them. And basically what you did was you got these long lists of rooms, which were on each of the URL pages, like Sacred Beetle, Hello Bones, etc. And each line was a letter. And the way you create that letter is you, as the crow flies, you draw a straight line from each of the rooms mentioned in order. And they literally draw letters. So they draw letters for you that you can see. And like, they're all pretty clear, depending on which map you use. Like, I'm supposed you meant to use the map on the cards, but we didn't have all of the cards at that point. Um, but you can use any Zork map. And like, as long as stuff's kind of laid out in the right way, it makes sense. Um, and you can draw these letters, and then that will make words. And those words were machination, insight, tribute, spectrum, avarice, and tempest. Now those words beyond that don't really mean anything. Like they're just words that you need later. Now the next step of this was to work out what to do with them. Now thankfully once we had that TriQuest page, at the bottom of the TriQuest page there's an extra bit of instructions. And these instructions say, say reconnoiter, which is kind of, I think it's a French word, but it means kind of reconnaissance. It means like, um, you know, doing a military recon kind of thing, check an area. Say that in the great underground to unlock the use of your six incantations. So what you have to do, and all of this is easier if you've completed Zork, because you need the treasures for a later bit. But anyway, if, you've complete, if you haven't completed Zork, I would do it anyway to get the achievements. So complete Zork, then what you need to do is go underground. So just turn your lamp on, go down into the cellar, just type reconnoiter. Then it says that something's been shifting and there's kind of new possibilities now. Once you've done that, you can go back up and then all you need to do is make sure the right six objects are in the um, trophy case. Now, the way we worked out which ones these were, because we didn't, bear in mind, we still don't have two of the cards. We don't have eight and 13, which have part of the QR code on and two of the items. The way um, Cito actually worked us out, Cito, who was helping me a lot with the other stuff that we were doing with the ciphers and things, he, the way he worked it out was just saying the words like machination, insight, tribute, spectrum, etc., while holding one of the treasures. If you were holding the right treasure, it says something different. It says like, you know, oh, it doesn't do anything. Maybe this is the wrong place. So you could work out which word connected to which treasure, as long as you had the words. So we'd already got all the incantations. So he went through all of the different things and just tested them all found out that the six items you needed were the scarab, the skull, the bag of coins, the pot of gold, the bracelet, and the trident. We don't actually have the cards for the skull and the trident, so 8 and 13, don't know which way around it'll be, will be the skull and the trident. Um, so those, once we knew that, we could just put all of those six items, so it's the scarab, the skull, the bag of coins, the pot of gold, the bracelet, and the trident, put all of those into the trophy case and take everything else out. It might take you like a few different turns to take everything out because you can only carry so many things i just drops everything else on the floor so you've only got those six treasures inside then you can say each of those incantations and if you've done everything else so far right then when you say each one you'll get something happen that spells a word and it all spells it in quite cool ways like one of them like burns it into the wall one of them makes a painting come alive and you see it in the waves in the painting um there's one of them like the brace that like car burns into your wrist or something or carves into your wrist they're all kind of cool the way they work but machination gives you fugazi file insight gives you burn bag tribute gives you intel fire spectrum gives you info hacks avarice gives you shred it all tempest gives you grid square so that's kind of where we almost thought we were going to stop for today because we were like okay we've got these we had by now four pieces of the qr code bear in mind we needed six and the bit we were missing was actually the bottom bit, which is one of the more important parts of the QR code. So we thought we were a bit stuck now. So we had these six sort of code words, which all seemed to be kind of Cold War related, but we didn't have the rest of the QR code. So we kind of thought we'd have to wait. But turns out that we didn't really have to wait that long because people on the Discord started realizing, actually, the way QR codes work, you can kind of do some stuff to make it... Um, to like work out bits of it. You can get some information out of it. So someone called Hacksaw Snake on my Discord was the one who ended up being able to work it out, worked out that it's going to start with an I and it's going to have a B in a certain position. Um, then he was working on a QR code to work out how many letters there would be in total, how many characters, and get as many clues as he could about letters. And he ended up coming up with the URL Invisible Truth, which obviously is super useful because it sounds right. It's the same kind of language as what the other parts use. 
and obviously it works for um it actually works when we put it into porn takes porn so you go to invisible truths sorry with an s on the end invisible truths and it asked you for the six keys so sort of six keys to a lock now thankfully we've got six code words all we need to do is type in those six words and you can actually do this now so you can just skip all the rest of this if you want to get the reward just skip to this point um you won't get one of the achievements but you will get the reward at the end so you can just go to in porntakesporn.com forward slash invisible truths you can type in fugazi file burn bag intel fire info hacks shred it all and grid square one in each of the boxes then that will unlock it and it will take you to this page which is the sort of proper invisible truths page and it says under the cloak of darkness the pieces make their way across the board forces toppled positions claimed another mission completed another pawn down and at the top of this image you can see kind of one of the projectors like the ones that kicked off this whole pawn takes pawn thing and free slides i've been told by people in my chat that these free slides correspond to perks from black ops cold war um, so that seems kind of cool that there's sort of a hint of the sort of style of the perk art that we're going to get. And that's not the only thing. It also gives you another achievement, which gives, says that if you redeem something, you'll get something. So you can click on redeem code. It gives you a code that you add in in calleofduty.com slash redeem. So you go to the Call of Duty page and it will give you a skin for, um, the truck. So you get a truck skin at the end. And I kind of get that some people have been you know, disappointed by this, but I think it's pretty cool. It's like something we're getting in game. Um, you can get this now. All you need to do is go to Invisible Truths, put in those six words, and then you'll get it. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's like a Black Ops Cold War thing in the game that we get. Um, it's, you know, fairly cool truck skin. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. But it's cool that kind of it's a definite solution point to like, we've done this. Um, and we've solved this and it's cool that you don't need to have received a letter or anything you don't need to have received a postcard you can still get the reward just by doing those last steps i just said so like i said go to porntakesporn.com forward slash invisible truths put in those six words so the six words are fugazi file burn bag intel fire info hack shred it all and grid square and then you can redeem it and get your truck skin which is really cool so where does that leave us? So the Zork part of Pawn Takes Pawn is done, I think. I think we're done with Zork now, which will be a relief to all the people that are fed up of having to replay Zork every now and then. Um, there's still things that we don't know about on PawnTakesPawn.com. The big thing is the safe. So at the back of the room on the left, there's this big safe that's locked. Um, I am assuming that, you know, it's got this red light on it. I'm assuming we're going to do something that will eventually end up with us opening that safe. I think that's probably where we'll go next. Don't know when it will happen. Maybe it'll be during the multiplayer reveal next Wednesday. Maybe it'll be, you know, just before it. It's um it's Labor Day weekend, so I don't think anything's gonna happen Sunday or Monday. But maybe something on Tuesday or Wednesday, and we'll get some updates to this. But I'm really excited to see where it goes next. I really enjoyed this. Thank you so much to everyone who was there on stream. Thank you to all the people in the Discord. I uh, had a kind of rough day with the Discord, so thank you so much to all the people that have stuck for all of that and carried on working on this and got it done. Um, it's been absolutely awesome. It's been really, really good fun. And it was definitely a massive community thing. Like I did little bits of it. Cita did bits of it. Um, and loads of people on Discord, obviously Hacks or Snake solving that QR code at the end, solving everything he could from it. That was amazing. That sort of got us over the line to be able to finish it, which is really, really cool. So thank you so much to all of them. If you like the video, please do like and subscribe. If you want to check out the Discord, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, go check me out on Twitter. I'm Geeky Pastimes over there. You can see some of the pictures from when we were doing it. Go check me out on Twitch as well. I'm Geeky Pastimes there. We've done this, like, all of these Easter eggs. I know we've kind of, as a community, we've been kind of first to solve a lot of these. And I think one of the really important things to note is that we've done all of this completely transparently. Like, we haven't hidden away steps from anyone so as soon as we found something i've been posting it on twitter like immediately to help as many people as possible be able to try and work on these things and i think that's like a positive way to go about that and i want to keep on doing that so if you want to see that stuff so as soon as we solve something it'll be up on twitter it'll be on my twitch stream um go follow me on those channels geeky pastimes on both of them and then you'll see all of that stuff as it happens so thank you very much for watching and goodbye